What's going on, guys? It's Hot Kicks 411 coming at you with some Nike Dunks. You already know we're looking at the black white joints. And yes, sir, without further ado, boom. Taking a look at the Nike Panda Highs, also known as the black white Nike Panda Dunks. And we're going to go through what I like about these, what I don't like, all the little features, things of that nature. You know, I have had. Uh, the women's panda highs on the channel before this is now going to be the men's panda high first off you do have the shoe itself all these different panels the black and white colors what's really going to make it different than the woman's sizing is really going to be that tag right there is showing black instead of uh, reddish kind of color now, one thing I do need to say about these is that the material on these, which I'm sure everyone watching is probably well aware, garbage. This is so tough and so firm. I've got some uh, Jordan 1s that are so plush and so soft to the touch, you know, just real quick. Just to give you guys a comparison, an idea, that is so soft. Very comfortable, much softer. The leather quality on this is butter. Colorway, so-so, but the leather quality is crazy. Compared to this over here, it's so tough. It's disgusting. You know, you really can't get away with wearing these without beating them up to the point that they look almost unrecognizable. The creasing on here gets so crazy. You really got to look up pictures of crease dunks because they don't even hold the same shape. Another a little issue I had with the quality control is you can see that there's like these ridges where it looks like my pandas got stretch marks on them. You know, you see that that is like really not good quality leather. This happened in the box while it was being shipped to me. So, you know, I'm not hating on the panda dunk highs. It's fire. It's a clean look. If you can keep them clean, more fire. And if you like wearing them with the creases on it, by all means, still a dope sneaker. However, this coming to me in the mail with this level of creasing and these different stretch marks, like my pandas just finished getting wrecked. It's kind of like not it. That's not the quality material that we're looking for. Besides the materials being less than what are desired, you know, it's still a very good sneaker all around. It's a pretty dope Nike Dunk High. Getting into the actual details, you do have these three white panels that are coming in this very white, white color. Like this might as well be paper white. And then you've got these black panels coming over it. You know, you can see not very thick leather whatsoever. It's pretty thin, if you ask me. You've got some more of the black paneling. Just normal flat black laces, nylon tongue with that same nylon Nike logo. Some of the stitching on the back, your normal black panda bottoms, you know, so all in all, it's not a bad shoe. They're pretty dope. I do like these a lot. However, the material is what kills me. I'm gonna wear rock a pair of Jordan ones instead. I'd rather be wearing these on my feet than wearing those. And some people are gonna disagree with me. They're not gonna feel like, uh, Jordans are as good as dunks. Some people prefer dunks, you know, to each his own. I'm not here to sway your opinion. You know, like what you like. I like what I like. Me personally, these are getting returned. This isn't something that I need to have or I felt like was a necessity to the collection. Thank you all for watching. I do greatly appreciate each and every one of y'all for hanging out with me for a little while. If you guys could like, comment, subscribe. We do have a lot of content coming to the channel and I'll be catching y'all in the next one.